What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm going to be playing Boros Cloud Control for Pioneer today. Um, we're going to do some uh, traditional historic ranked and see how the deck does. If you haven't um, seen the deck tech for this video, I'll put a link in the description. Um, it's a really cool deck. Make sure to check that out, just see how it functions. And uh, yeah, let's see how it does in some gameplay here. We are going to opt to play first. Uh, this hand is pretty good, actually. Yep, a little land heavy, but we got stuff to do. They're playing Luris. Okay, it's probably um, Rakdos, Sakdos, or something. Uh, Flame of the Kel. We're not interested in that right now. We need a board wipe or something. Okay, so that's our other sack outlet. Um, I looked at that for my version of the deck. Um, what you call it? It's just a better pick. Um, what's the name of the card? Uh, Goblin Dark Dweller. No, it's not Goblin Dark Dweller. It's Dark Dweller something, though. It's a two drop. You can sack for one. Okay. Um... Let's get down another mountain. We got two planes, two mountains. Tick up. I will defend the weak at every opportunity. I believe Go for a board wipe. The issue is he can sack on my turn and make us kill Gideon, which is annoying. It's true, like literally only lands. Scry to land to the bottom too. Or no, we scryed the flame of the kelp, that's right. Okay, they got three lands. You can put Luris in your hand? No. Fanatical Firebrand, gotcha. Okay, um, well, that's awkward. Okay, well, there's a real card. Um, let's pick it up and swing in. Your light will cleave the darkness. This card is really good against us. I mean, since we've only drawn, we got no removal so far. Oh, he's gonna attack with it? What is he doing? And then not with a fanatical firebrand? I've fought worse. I'm not really sure. Okay. Well, we might be in good shape here. He does he just have like no creatures in hand? He must not. I still gotta play my version of the deck for uh, my channel here. Um Cool. Bone Crusher Giant was a great draw. Um We're gonna go ahead and we can stomp and play it, right? So Um, stopping Luris is a thing too. I think we gotta just like take care of this thing though. If he has another land, then he can just like replay it. It's pretty awkward. Um, let's tick up. Submit zero. We're gonna go ahead and swing in here. I think we're just going to hold Born Crusher Giant, unfortunately. I might need to, like, kill their Luris instead. Okay, Croxa. And then is he going to do... Uh, so they can't get it out this turn, then. They can't get Luris out this turn, at least. I'll do that. Could 
Sack it. Yep. Oh no, he lets it go? Okay, that's really interesting. Cause then that would have countered our bone crusher giant. Could have done two to the thing then too. Um and I guess I'll just ship this other Gideon. I don't really see any need for it. Oh, they could still play another land? God, that was stupid. Okay, so we get Gideon, yeah. That was nothing. Play out Luris. There you go, buddy. Uh, Banishing Light was good. That was really good. Yeah, so we'll... Um, we'll Banishing Light there, Luris, and then... Play out this uh, Bone Crusher Giant. And... Yeah doesn't really matter. Swing in. Okay. So Lurus down. Uh, they can get their Crocs online. No, they can't. They don't have any cards in their graveyard. Maybe they're using Call of the Death Dweller, though. They can get one of them out. I mean, it'd probably be Priest, right? Or Sack that, I guess. Yeah, that works. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they're doing call, call the death to all her. And that has death touch and haste and menace. Wow. And they're going to kill the bone crusher giant. Gotcha. Okay, Doker. Um, now, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So we can't activate Bonders Enclave and play out the Rekindling Phoenix. Um, but I'm actually fine just playing out the Phoenix here. Seems better. I believe in you. They let that go. So now they have to deal with uh, both Gideon and the Rekindling Phoenix. Seems um, like an impossible task, but we'll see what they do here. Serrated Scorpion, sure. The list is pretty similar to mine. I don't think that this card is that good, though. Okay, let's scoop it up. Um, we are definitely bringing in the Soul Guide Lanterns. Um, do we want anything else? I think that... Each non-elemental creature. Yeah, that's Chandra is actually pretty good. It's probably better than the Cavalier of Dawn. Um, anything else? I don't think so. I think that we probably like Gideon was okay there, but he's actually just not really that good in this matchup. I'm gonna drop one. I'll drop that Banishing Light. Then we need one more card gone. Um, actually, Elspeth Conqueror's Death is absolute shit in this match it doesn't do anything i'm gonna bring gideon back in um and uh banishing lights yeah okay that works um we should do pretty well against this deck to be honest um The graveyard recursion thing is a little awkward. Mm, this hand is awkward, speaking of. Uh, we have Shatter the Sky. We'll probably draw another land. Ugh. Oh, this hand is so awkward. We can do better than this. This is better. Way better. Keep six. Um, I think that we want to get rid of... Flame the Kiln? 
Well, my kelt's kind of good. Like after we get, we'll get rid of the shadow of this guy. I'm gonna take a risk here. Cauldron familiar, gotcha. Uh, I don't think I want to play this on one. Okay, they got the combo. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Question is what to do, what to do. Okay. Mm hmm. I think I'm gonna just let him go, let it go. I'd rather deafen Clarion and then activate this, you know. We might even just like Gideon next turn too, depending on what they get down. Croxa, okay. At this point, um, I'm going to get rid of the Flame of the Kelp. It's interesting that they did that. Okay, get him from one here. Stop retreat. Gideon, it is. Go ahead and just tick up. And we'll just pass here. Okay, they just put Lurus in hand. That's totally fine. Maybe they'll swing at Gideon or something. It's totally fine. Not very threatening. Do not frighten me. Uh, yeah, and I mean, we're just going to run out the Rekindling Phoenix here. Doesn't really matter what we give it, can't attack. We'll go ahead and get in here. Works for me. Um, at this point, we could exile the graveyard. I don't think I'm going to, though. Obviously, he can jump block, but... We're trying to be strategic about our Deafening Clarion here. Okay. Then he can go back and bring it back again. I'm very familiar with this. This uh, version, this deck, this Lurus Rakdos, uh, I didn't even know that. This is the first time I've ever played against anyone else running it. He might have uh, got this list for me. That's how I got to Mythic, was running... Um, this Luros, Luris, uh, Luristocrats deck. Lelom. Uh, I don't recognize the name. Maybe I'm giving myself too much credit. Serrated Scorpion, sure. Why are you even like attacking in? I don't really understand it. Mm hmm. Okay.
Um, so then we could get that indestructible. Wipe their board. I think we're like still in pretty good shape. You can bring one back, attack that for three. I think that we just like give this vigilance. Could just like give it lifelink. I'm gonna just give it lifelink, I don't really care. Gain some life here. Swing with both. Okay, it chumps and does not activate Witch's Oven. That's interesting. Uh, probably looking for more removal or something. Flame of the Kells is pretty decent. We'll, we'll actually keep that on top. Next turn we can go um, uh, land Clarion, uh, wipe their graveyard, uh, Flame of the Kells. I don't know why they didn't activate their witch's oven again there. It's a free free another cat cat oven <laughs> activation. Okay. Citrus so supplier makes our uh, soul guide lantern even better. One, two, three. Okay, gotcha. One at Gideon, one at me, gotcha. And then um, none of these can kill my token, but I think I'm still going to give it indestructible because they have a uh, fanatical firebrand in here. So one, two, three, one, two. So I don't need to play that. I can play this uh, tapped. Let's go ahead and give that indestructible. And we'll give them both uh Life link, do three damage. Okay. Resolve all. It's kind of an awkward position for him here. Gain eight life back here, which is really nice. Go ahead and play this flame of the Keld. And then, um, he's got one food. If he tries to activate it, then we'll, uh, okay, he doesn't. Ooh, crap. We should have done it. Yeah, that's what I was kind of worried of, that he hit a land or something. Oh, he plays Luris? That is so bizarre to me. Okay. I would have played Croxa for sure. Okay, yep, gets a cat back. That, that makes sense. Yeah, I, yeah. I think the opponents made a few mistakes this game. Playing the first. What are you doing? Giving it haste? You can't even kill it. Yeah, I think that our opponent's kind of an amateur or something. So it would seem. Uh, Chandra's fucking sweet. Um, each non elemental. Just like two, do two to this. Like that works for me. Um, just like. Give that vigilance again, I guess, or lifelink. I think vigilance is fine here. Um, go ahead and swing. Okay. Sacks the cat. Makes sense. Okay, 
GG's. Got him there. Awesome. All right, let's get into another game here. MTG Predator, hide your kids. Hide your kids. We are playing the Predator. Um, opponent goes first. His hand is. Uh, if he's playing like against, if we're playing against a creature deck, I guess we have the Shatter. Whatever, we'll try it. He mulligans. Probably a creature deck. Lands to the bottom. Earth Meltees next turn. Melatis. Oh, uh, yeah. So, Bant is probably field. Bant field deck, yeah. Uh, that's fine. Our master removal should do pretty well against it. The thing we gotta look out for is, um,. The Hydra, it'll get him back in the game. Okay, so we're just playing our Gideon this turn. Uh, this Gideon would be way better if his uptick um, gave him one of those uh, um, either Vigilance, Lifelink, or Introspectable in until the end of uh, your opponent's turn. Oh god, they already got two on board there. Okay. Um, so this might be the point at which we shatter. Lock two, me, yada, yada. I think we probably want to shatter here, right? So we'll give that indestructible. Um, can play out this Bonders Enclave, I guess. And then we'll shatter. Okay, we got a Rekindling Phoenix out of it. What a silly card. And here comes the Hydra, or what? Escape shift. Holy fuck! Okay, we should have saved that uh, shatter. This guy. Yeah. Well, now it's um. Now it's a uh, board wiper bust. Oh my god. The fuck is this card still doing in the format? Uh, yeah. And we lose. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Magic's a fucking joke. Um, okay, so Chandra's coming in, Blood Suns are coming in, um, Banishing Light, not great, I don't think. I'm Mikkel, we can probably get do down with, um, Cavalier of Dawn doesn't seem great either, neither does Elspeth. Conquers death. It doesn't really actually seem to do anything. Um, I mean, it hits like... I don't know what the top end of their curve is, actually. Um, so we probably want to keep a couple. Cavalier Don, huh? Uh, I don't think we really want that. It's not that good. Okay, we'll try it like that. Uh, 
We will play first. Okay, we got a Clarion. Yeah, this is fine. Temple. We'll keep that. Get our second red source. Okay, tap land for them. Let's play Flame of the Keld. I'm just kidding. Throw Spiral. Uh, we'll just stop their phase, right? Whatever. Boom. Blood Sun. Um, so they play a land. They can't get what you call it online next turn. So I'm going to just play that out. Yep. And that brings them up to six. Okay. Now Blood Sun's great. Um. I think we'll play that planes out first. It doesn't really matter actually. It doesn't really do anything for us. Okay. Have fun with that. Fairy to bounce it. That's pretty annoying. Maybe. No, I am not making this up as I go. Uh yeah, that is fucking annoying. I mean we got we got definitely Clary on the Escape shift. Uh, okay. Um, just shatter here and then. Because we can't get Blood Sun online, and if we shatter, I mean, okay, so I could definitely Clarion, I could Stomp to Fairy, I could definitely Clarion, Birth of Maltese. Uh, yeah, I mean, so we're definitely playing that. I think it's probably Clarion, right? And then, do we want to birth or do we want to stomp? We can stop that next turn. I'm gonna just do this. Make sure we hit our land drops. Here we go. Yuck. And then does he have more ramp? Last one on two. You got it. Um, okay, stop that. Blood Sun protects us for a turn at least. You can blow it up. Gain two there. Um, one, two, three, four. So we could do Bone Crusher Giant, but then it'll die too. So it's probably just uh, probably just this, and then that's probably just it. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna play into. How come we didn't crack that? I don't really understand. Okay, that seems really odd. Like, what is he doing? Um, 
Yeah, it seems really, really odd. Maybe he's just like, I don't know what he would be doing. Um, is he waiting for like us to play this bone crusher giant or something? I guess it's fine with me. Okay, um, maybe he forgot he had the last zone or something. I think that. We probably just want to run it back like that, right? Scape shift is kind of scary. Yeah. Uh, perfect hand. We'll keep. Ugh. This hand fucking sucks too. This hand's decent. Um, we can probably get another land, right? Okay, yep, we get another land. Let's see what he's trying to do here. Another temple. No. Yes? Hmm. It's a good turn three play. Okay, maybe it's just turn two here. Uh, I might want to keep this up. What am I? What would I stop though? I'm gonna stop something, um, right? Their face maybe, and then put pressure on, right? Is that what I want to do? The fairy. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Pick up. Thank me later. Yep. That's more like it. Okay, so cliff up retreat. Let's get this bone crusher giant down. They bounce that to our hand. I'm fine with that. Okay, just ticks up. Tap land. Nice thing is we got this bonders enclave now. So, attack to fairy. Okay. They didn't have a sorcery to play. Another tick up. Let's try this. Fairy's just like eating damage for them. It's fine. Draw a card. This card's so good. Blood Sun. That was fucking awesome. Um, so we probably just want to get rid of Teferi here, right? Ugh, I knew they were going to do that. They double block? I'm not sure. Yeah, they probably do, right? Um, do we want to draw a card, though? Are we gonna shatter? No. Are we gonna blood sun? I mean, to fairies right there. To bounce it. Then he has to like use the whole thing. So okay, that's fine. He has to kill the fairy to bounce it, which is fine. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna do this. Blood sun. Draw a card. And then we'll just scry here. Oh well, I should have scryed first. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Fuck. This Ticks up. Might be a bad idea. Okay. No payoff yet. Uh, just kidding.
I think we probably just blood sun again. It's pretty good. Huh, do we stop it? So. Me to phase you out of time. I've got it. Okay. Hero. Quite good. They got two cards in their graveyard. Um we could shatter and then play Bone Crusher Giant. I mean, it gives him a card, but I think that's what we got to do. Okay, uh, just kidding. Fairy being to fairy. Uh huh. Let's imagine all the two two. We're probably still gonna lose, and uh, um, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. There's a way to take this thing down right now, right? Do we play a land first? I mean, yeah, right? Let's get countered. Okay, they return it to hand. God, that's another ridiculous card. Uh, we gotta play out this flame of the kelp. Holy fucking shit. <sighs> what a frustrating deck to play against. Um, they kind of got it all. They got counter spells. They can make a fucking ass load of creatures, draw a bunch of cards, gain a bunch of life, play Teferi. I mean, yeah, this deck is oppressive. They get Uro too. It's like. That Dovin Veto is really hurt. You're playing the fucking Hydra. Just play it. God. Like, there's too many things you have to deal with in this deck. Like, they're ramping one so they can play, like, Hydro Crisis, like a re really big one, gain a bunch of life, draw a bunch of cards. And then you'd have to deal with all the 2-2s two being produced by um, all the cards being dropped as well. Um, very frustrating deck. I, I mean, now we just lose. Like, there's nothing we can do here. Um, I guess we try to draw a card here, right? I don't know why I tapped the Bonders Enclave, but oh yeah, because it doesn't matter anyway. And we lose. That's that. Okay, well that's too bad. Let's play another match here. Why does it always default on bot match? It's so annoying. It's like, just keep it on what I'm playing. I don't want to go play Sparky the bot. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, 
da 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 Still waiting. Okay, we finally got an opponent here. Sky Tally. That last guy, MTG Predator, he was a predator. What a freak. Um, I go first with this hand. Yeah, I don't mind. I guess I should have looked at their companion first. Oh, it's could be actually a no creature deck, non creature deck. Temple Triumph was good. Um, Flame of the Kel. No, probably not. Okay. Fine, just using a Clarion here. That card, yep. Um, do we want to Clarion? Yeah. Why not? So they must have found another threat here. Yep. Gotcha. Um, I think we're just going to use Vanishing Light on it. Try to save these board wipes for other stuff. Tempted to flame there, but... Man, just keep them coming. Double strike, sit. And I think we can still wait another turn. gonna put that in hand okay all right bone crusher giant that was um not bad probably played gigantha no Killing Fiend, I didn't even know this was in Historic. Okay. Oh, you can play both. Gotcha. Um, it's pretty good. Pretty good. But we just do this. He gets a card out of it. Boom. And a Temple. Birth on top. Um, no. And I don't want a Flame right now. I mean, I do, but... I want to get this Rekindling Phoenix down. Stop playing threats. Okay, that should hold us back. Hold them back. I'm going to actually just pass again. I mean, we got another one. They block really well. Uh, Cavalier Dawn, sweet. Uh, 
Um, doesn't seem all that relevant. They're gonna spell pierce that. Okay. Land for the opponent. We'll just keep on looping them. I mean, whatever. Infuriate. Was it give it double strike or something? You did. It doesn't have a double strike, does it? No. Okay. Um, for this matchup. I wonder if we want, like, Thalia in the sideboard. That could be an option. It's a little awkward with our, like, board removal, but... Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if Thalia would be that good. Like, you still want to remove their creatures and stuff. Uh, Chandra is interesting. It seems a little slow for what they got going on, though. Um, Fry. Blue. Yeah. Blue or white. It only kills that one thing. Most of their creatures are red. Um, I'm going to bring in these two Chandras and take out these Cavalier Dons. They're not as good. They probably got more counter spells. Yeah, I mean, we got Clarion, a Bone Crusher Giant. Oh, Temple was a good draw. Probably just looking for like more land. Another Temple works. I guess these Elspeth Conqueror's Death don't really do much either. Dorian, Dorian. That would be the best case scenario, actually, over the Dreadhorde Darkenist. That works. Works for me. Boom. Ops. Put something on tops. Uh, so they must have a counter spell, a negate or something. Do we want to play our Gideon into that? Probably not. I'll just play the Bone Crusher Giant. Oh, it's just snopped. Okay. Tried her Arcanist. Got it. What else? Draws a card. Okay. I um, think I'm into playing Gideon here. Spell Pierce? No. Awesome. Um, I think we'll just give this thing Vigilance, right? I believe in you. Okay, gets in there. Let's play that. Shadow Sky is beautiful. We'll keep that on top. Okay. And trample. And then it's gonna um 
So will that kill Gideon? Another three, seven, four, not quite. Okay, now well. I can take it. Yep, okay. Feel free, you can have it. I surrender. Um so if they're holding up a spell pierce. We definitely just wonder if we even want to like play anything out. I mean, we could just play out this Elspeth Conquer. Well, the Jing Goth, I'm not really too concerned about that. Just like get this online. Like, what are they gonna play? A crasher or something? Draw a card. Um, like, they can draw a card from attacking with that, which isn't particularly fun for us. We do that into their spell pierce, and then. Hmm. Let's just play this. Yeah, they got the spell pierce. Draws a card. Unsummon. Okay. Doesn't seem very good. Okay, so they can't play a counter spell here. Um, so I think that I'm probably going to Clarion. And then we could stop their phase or we could just play out the, we're just gonna play it out. Draw cards with it next turn and stuff. And then we're gonna get back uh, Gideon too. Nice. Gideon. Yeah. Okay. They scoop it up. Alright, so there's another W. How many games is that? Three? Maybe do like two more. I don't feel like any of these games have been like that great yet. Uh, opponent goes first. Um, this hand is fine. They got a Atlanta War Elf. Okay, uh, another field deck. Bant field again. Um, so we're looking for mass removal. That is something we can play next turn. This deck is disgusting. Don't worry, I got this.
Yeah, like, I don't know why this isn't until your next turn um, for Gideon. It makes him, like, so much worse. Ratchet bomb, okay. Also, that to hand to draw a card. Replays it. Plays another land. And nothing else. Um, so, what to do here? We got options. Um, we could get the uh, Rekindling Phoenix online. Okay, blocks there. Makes sense. In which case, I think we are just going to play this. It's a charge counter on it, sure. Wander's Enclave, they're going to target, I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get a red source, I think. Shatter the sky, uh, yeah, that doesn't really like affect us, that's what we're playing too, but he's gonna bounce the token. It's totally fine with me. Escape shift. Oof. And we don't have any mass removal, of course. In hand. God fucking damn it. That's fucking disgusting. And now we lost. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. Create a blocker. We can't block fucking ten of them. It's a disgusting fucking deck. Wizards, you guys are fucking retards. design team missing a chromosome um, Chandra in Cavalier of Dawn out Blood Sun in Flame of the Keld. Vanishing Light. Uh, yeah, I can just like be bounced. Um, Gideon's like not especially good. Sand is not going to do it. Try to keep it and scry. Like, I guess we keep all the lands. Let's try to survive to six.
Okay, no field of the dead yet. Row down. I don't think they've played a land yet. Blood Sun, awesome. Um, we gotta do it. I mean, they got to ferry to bounce it, but. And we are not gonna play a flame on the Keld. Got Chandra though. Okay. Um Just, like start ticking up. Escape shift. Not really sure why. To play your Uro, I guess? Yeah. Fine. Will do. That's it. Check up. Give him their counter. Boom, boom. Fairy, I'm guessing bouncing Blood Sun. They get like an escape ship again. Ratchet bomb. Okay. Escape shift, okay. They're gonna get a bunch of uh, bunch of zombies. We're prepared this time, though. triggers so if their last card is a counter spell then we're dead I mean 
We're actually not. We can still minus Chandra, so I'm not really sure why they did that. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, we can just do this. Boom. Good one. Then, do we care about Deferi? I don't think so. Let's get toasty. Flame Akel? Nah. Wait, what just happened there? Oh, cause I don't. God, I'm such a fucking retard. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. <sighs> so dumb. I I wasn't even fucking paying attention. left two on it so it can uh shit it doesn't reanimate well we're fucked That was fucking lame. Um, the only thing we can do here is draw into um, Definite Clarion. It's the only out. Boo! Bantfield is for losers. Um, if I didn't, if I would have played that differently, yeah. Yeah, I should have held the fucking thing and played the Blood Sun out. I should have played the Blood Sun out first, and then, yeah, I mean, I could have won that game. That was a, I totally threw that game away, so, um, I wasn't paying attention. It's just poor playing. I hate when I play bad. Um, that's too bad. That could have been a, that could have been a good victory. But you guys are watching a dumb dumb play. Don't forget to like and subscribe on that note. I will play first. All right, uh, game five, I think. Um, this looks good. Come on, guy. Hashtag 20. Hashtag 20 minutes. <laughs> For fuck sake. Okay, uh, not sure what our opponent's doing. Uh... Okay, he's probably trying to get us to, uh, Wait, scoop. This is a uh, plan.
All right, they decided to show up. Grab a plane. We are playing Abzan. Um, I don't mind Temple here, actually. I was with Conqueror's Death. I think that's pretty good. Keep that. This thing can become indestructible. Yeah, it can, so. Um, I think we just board wipe here. as a death trigger yeah okay um wanders enclave don't have anything to destroy here uh playing this out is actually fine just as is what is this thing Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, so we're definitely going to kill that thing. Or do we just want to play... Yeah, I want to get this online in case Cavalier of uh, Dawn dies. I think we'll just go get a mountain. The next turn we can uh, mountain, kindling phoenix, flame a cal, depending on what we draw. Okay, tap land for the opponent. Cupboard in. Okay. Um, Hex proven lifelink. Is there a mutate deck? We're just doing this. I think I'm probably interested in attacking. I don't get any value out of that, unfortunately. Unless he still happens to shoot, kill one of these things, but. Another mutate. Okay, so they're gonna kill our flame of Kelvin. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Um, probably interested in drawing a card. Okay, temple. Gideon Black Blade. Gideon Black Blade. I don't think it's that good. Um. I mean, I'd rather get, like, a removal spell. We have removal, though. I'm going to... Yeah, okay. Uh, who are we getting rid of, though? Destroy enchantment. So I guess we get rid of the thing that destroys enchantments, right? And, yeah, we'll swing them both in. Okay, shocks. Is 
doesn't seem very good. Okay. Gideon. I will defend the weak at every opportunity. We'll just give that vigilance, right? Share my light. Okay. Um, so they're a mutate Abzan like mutate list. Um We need to kill their stuff. I think I probably want another Banishing Light. Gideon is like pretty subpar. Stephanie and Clarion seem okay. They seem pretty good. Fry, blue or white. Most of her creatures are white, it seemed. Maybe Chandra's good. Whatever. We'll just try it. We got to shatter. These two Flame of Kelds in opening hand are not very good. Um, this card hasn't been very good in the games we've played so far, but it is good sometimes. Um, trust me. Shatter the sky. Are they going to have things to pick stuff out of our hand, though? In which case, Flame of Kelds actually might be good, so... Whatever. We're figuring out how to play in this format still. Pelt Collector it is. A couple of Triumph was a good draw. Uh, I'm not really interested in land right now. It's another Lion. Stone Coil Serpent, got it. Seems pretty good. I don't think we're gonna win. I mean, do we just lose? If he plays something else? I walk a righteous path. Your light will cleave the darkness. Uh, we just lose because Questing Beast is a fucking dumb card. Okay, uh, Gideon is trash. Give me the other Banishing Light. Run it like that. Throne of Eldrain is an absurd set. Like, the cards in that set that are. The amount of cards in that set that are just totally overpowered. Uh, you got um, Questing Beast. You have uh, Ember Cleave. Um, all the uh, all the uh, um, adventure cards are really really good. This hand sucks. It's like the same hand we had fucking last game. Keep.
Okay, we've got the other last land. Hopefully we can make it to Shatter the Sky this turn. Uh, that stupid Stone Coil Serpent, very, very good card. Um, it's a dumb set. I wouldn't mind if that set was just like erased from Magic's history. Okay, and then they're gonna do that stupid fucking trick again. I don't think I'm interested in playing Gideon into that. Kaya, okay. It's a strange one. Shatter here and then get rid of Kaya next turn. And Kaya doesn't like really do anything against us. We'll get rid of that instead. Good riddance to poor gun. Look to see me no more. Another one. Mm, hello. I'm gone for now, but not forever. Mm, we'll give it right back. Hello. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Shifting Ceratops, yep. Gives it haste, okay. Pro blue. Probably just Gideon and Flame of the Keld here, right? I mean, like, Gideon dies, but... kill Gideon then well, I guess I can kill it exile it gross attacking me okay I mean you could have just killed me there I had more than five in there now I have five actually uh, yeah, I mean, we uh, can't win, right? Minus five, so... We gotta attack Kaya. Prepare for battle. The opponent fucked up, though. You should have had this game. Try that again. I dare you. Oh, it's still at five. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's that. That was shitty. 
it's really poor matches. I, I hate when I make videos and um, the games just end up being shit. I mean, there's nothing you can really do about it. I'm not going to re-record this, but um, hopefully you get the idea of the deck. Um, before, when I was playing this earlier today, it was doing like way, way better than it did in those matches. Uh, we still got some wins, though, so can't be like too upset about it. But um, it's a fun deck to play, actually. A uh, good kind of theme. It's better in... The Pioneer version is obviously better. I mean, you get um, Gideon of the Trials, which is just like usually way better than Gideon Blackblade. Um, being able to prevent the damage right when he comes in of a, of a, a threat um, is quite good. Um, and I've never used his minus six to exile non-land non permanent. So um, yeah, there is that. Uh, but I just want to try it out, see how it translated and how it... Uh, um, carried over into the pioneer i mean into the historic format um i'll keep playing this deck and if uh i make any major changes i'll give it a rerun or whatnot but yeah that's uh it for now um i'm gonna be putting out uh some videos on let's see here where is it my um these um rag or these uh aristocrat decks here so um this was the one i did in the deck tech on with the luminous brood moth um and then just from playing games and trying new versions of the deck i came up with this rakdos uh aristocrats deck um which as far as i know it wasn't a thing in um in historic until we played that one um that one deck today that was running playing this deck a very similar version of it at very least um so this is a really fun deck to play though and quite good as well so um just stay tuned for that don't forget to like and subscribe and uh stay tuned for uh the next videos that come out thanks you guys we'll see you next time hello hello